Question. Who are the friends of old time radio and what are they doing in Bridgeport? Answer. They are former radio actors, writers, musicians and collectors that just can't get the sounds of old time radio out of their heads. About 300 such people from Florida to California gather once a year to see if the shadow knows or to swap storylines from the old Lux Theater radio program. Some come to ponder posters, trade trivia tidbits or just to browse through broadcasting books. The biggest problem at a radio convention is that you can only recognize some people by the sound of their voice. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Another face whose voice first appeared on radio is Rita Lloyd, better known today as Lucille Wexler on The Guiding Light. You could do a great deal more radio. You could do a great deal more parts because it didn't, you know, you could go from one show to another in the same day. And you could play a witch one week and a princess the next week because you were doing it just vocally. So that was marvelous. That you can't do in television. Mm -hmm. right? One thing you can do on television is to show a group of old time radio folks just having a good old time. Mary Wallace for ABC News in Bridgeport, Connecticut.